Welcome back to BeamNG Drive, and today, some of you may be wondering why there is a squatted Ram 1500 in the middle of your screen. You might be saying to yourself, what is that? It's disgusting. Get rid of it immediately. And oh, don't worry, we will be using our time in this video to do just that in many creative ways. Now, when I say in many creative ways, I have many many plans for how we can creatively destroy said squatted Ram 1500. Now, the tune on it is very interesting because it has tremendous amounts of power. It's got a 14 point something liter engine in it. It is boosted and both the front and rear axles have welded diffs. So essentially what this thing is, is it's a squatted truck that can sort of kind of go fast, but at the same time, it still drives horribly because it's a squatted truck and it pulls to the left really aggressively and y'all get the gist. Now, let's begin destroying it. So first things first, we're gonna fire it up and I'm gonna attempt to get it to spin in circles until we either pop the tires or blow the engine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a bit of a brake boost and let's go. Now, I've done this before to where it's actually spun around so many times that, it ex that it's exploded the tires off of itself, but it really all depends on the surface because, as you can see, it spins around at a speed way... Oh my god, it's actually spinning at a speed that I've never seen it do before. Front drive shaft broken. I... <laughs> it busted the drive shaft. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's a little bit of destruction, but we need a lot more destruction than that. Can we drift it? I don't think it wants to be drifted, but we can attempt to drift it, I guess, on the way up to the top of the ramp, the absolute mega ramp of destruction. Actually, there seems to be a good crash opportunity up here at this start gate right down the way. Oh, no. Oh, we're rolling. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh. <laughs> well, that went well. Now, quick fix later, and let's fly up to the top of said mega ramp so we can initiate a yeet. Now, getting this thing to actually jump off of the correct ramp because of the limitations of it, well, being a squatted truck, is quite difficult. Um, it's a lot more difficult than one might think. And let's spin this thing around and begin to send it down the ramp. Oh, a little bit of a drift tap, come on! Now, if you guys are curious as to what map this is, the map is Motorsports Playground, and the mods that I am using are available on the Too Fast Racing servers. Now, it doesn't seem that we're going to make it to the bottom of the ramp in one piece. Our driver's side front tire has already passed us. We're going like 200 some odd miles an hour. I'm still flat out. Ooh, but somehow I managed to make it off of the middle ramp. Oh, God. Okay, two out of the three remaining tires are popped. Ooh. I... <laughs> We actually made it up the other ramp. We, like, bananaed the frame. Like, this thing is not having a good time whatsoever. Now, let's quickly spin it back around. Easy. And I want to see if we can make it to the bottom of this ramp in one piece. No lift. I know it's possible because I have done it before. I know it's possible. I know it's possible. Come on. 200 some odd miles an hour. Oh, big ramp, big ramp, big ramp. Yes! Oh, God. All right, barrel roll. Snap the tire off. We're going to smash into the other ramp. Ooh! Oh, man, we didn't even land in the pond. It's still not destroyed enough, though. You know why? Because it still runs. Now, I'm sure both drive shafts are not of this world anymore, but that's not really a big deal. Now... We need to head to a slightly higher position. Now, there are three aircraft carriers on this map. This one, this one, and the far one. Now, I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there in the comments that's going to say, why are you not using spawn locators to just, uh, to just fast travel there? Well, to be put quite simply, spawn locators are not a thing in the BeamNG multiplayer mod at the moment, and I am currently using a multiplayer server to drive this vehicle. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we drop it off of the aircraft carrier itself. Oh my god, these brakes are terrible. It doesn't have any ABS. Oh, I... I blew the tires. Oof. I blew both rear tires. How high up is this? 
Oh god, it's a lot higher than you actually might think. Yeet! I think I may have, like, caught something on the bottom. Like, I heard something grab. I don't know if it was... I don't know if it was one of the drive shafts themselves. Oh, this is gonna pancake. Bro, this is so gonna pancake. Oh! Ooh! Direct hit. <laughs> If we had, like, smushed the frame before, we really smushed it now. The engine pulleys are in front of the front bumper. Holy crap. I also love how the exhaust is just dangling right there. Peak squatted truck, by the way. Absolute peak squatted truck. Now, to give you guys an idea of how high up in the air these aircraft carriers actually are, I am holding the shift key on my keyboard down right now because when you're in the fly cam in BeamNG Drive, you know, obviously you fly around with WASD, you press F8 to get into it, and then F7 to respawn your vehicle. But, like, I have my finger held down on the shift key, this is max speed that the camera can fly, and you can see how slowly we're, you know, essentially making our way up to the aircraft carrier itself. This is aircraft carrier number two. Now, aircraft carrier number two is quite a bit higher than aircraft carrier number one. However, it's not quite as crazy as aircraft carrier number three, and you guys will see why later, because there's actually legitimately an atmosphere issue with getting this thing to make power on aircraft carrier number three. How fast can we make it off the edge? Oh, like 120? Yo! That's gonna be a long way down. 120 miles an hour off the edge, by the way. Like... That's, that's pretty gnarly. Like, that's a lot. I don't know how this is actually going to end or how it's going to result, but let's just say I'm extremely excited to see how destroyed this thing ends up. I am so hoping for a direct hit, like, directly on the nose of the thing. I'm so hoping for a direct hit. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, I think it might actually almost be a direct hit. Unless it goes in the water, which it might... Yeet! It actually hit the water like... Oh, wait, okay. The ground was, like, really close to the water level, so it was super shallow right there. I mean, it's pretty much completely damaged out. Like, just about literally everything. But there's no way that that is going to be as crazy as aircraft carrier number three. Look how much higher up aircraft carrier number three is. Now, I think, like, I'm debating back and forth in my head. Do I drop it off of aircraft carrier number three in a, you know, like, by blazingly fast, like, you know, just driving off the edge? Or do I just easy, up, e like, easy drive up to the edge and then let it fall off? I think I'm going to just drive it real easy up to the edge and then let it fall off. But I do want to show you guys how much the atmosphere up here the level of the air density affects the power of this thing. Now, because this thing is running so much boost, it's not going to make as big of a difference on this as it would on, say, for example, a naturally aspirated or a supercharged vehicle. But at the same time, I mean, it is, uh, it's still a factor. Y'all will notice very quickly that this truck becomes quite a bit slower once we get all the way up here to the third aircraft carrier. Because, man, it is a ways. Not only is it a ways up, but it's kind of, um... It's kind of gnarly up here because, see, you know, once you get up here, you realize very quickly that you're dealing with something that is, like, in the middle of nowhere. It really, truly is in the middle of nowhere. And this little thing is, um, apparently going to drive off of it. Now, as you can see, it builds RPM and boost quite a bit slower up here. Like, you can still build it. But it takes it quite a bit longer. Like, if I brake boost it, I mean, it's already making, like, 8.5, 9.5, 10.5 .5 pounds of boost. But even that is only just enough to get it to slowly start inching, you know? Alright, let's ease this thing up to the edge. I want to see what this looks like. I really want to see what this looks like. Oh. <laughs> Dude, there's just darkness out there. It's gray and darkness. Like... I have no idea how, like, you could actually make this any crazier. It's literally just gray and darkness. I mean, oh god, should we do it? Three, two, one. 
Brake boost. That's full throttle. It's sitting at six PSI. And, um, goodbye. Well, this went well. Oh my god, dude, if we hit the other... <laughs> if we hit one of the aircraft carriers, this is that, that that is going to be a moment right there. Look, we're literally dropping it from space! We're literally straight up dropping a squatted truck from space right now. Or at the very least, near space. I mean, but then again, this is probably what it needed anyway. Because these things are... I mean, y'all want to see these things get smushed. Probably just about as much as I want to see this one get smushed. We may be on a direct collision course with that second aircraft carrier. I think we might make our way around it, though. Okay, never mind. I thought I was on a direct collision course with it. I guess we're not. I'm also not doing any kind of air control right now. We got really close to that other aircraft carrier. What about what about the other one? Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. I would love to know if this is, like, over a mile high. It's gotta be. It's gotta be, like, you know, like, what? A couple of miles up? Easy. Now, granted, I wish I had my airspeed up. I have no idea what my airspeed is right now. I think we're going to actually land in the middle of the large oval track, like the large NASCAR track. Oh! Well, that's a broken pancake at this point. Um, something's happening. Physics are breaking because I'm not doing anything right now, and it's pulling itself around in a circle. Seriously, it is... It is legitimately pulling itself around in a circle right now, and I do not know, A, what to do about it, or B, how to fix it. So I'm just going to repair myself right there, and that's going to be that. Now, let's see. There are a couple of other ways on this map that we could creatively destroy this squatted truck. For example, there's a ramp right there that may or may not allow us to drive directly into a pole. But that would require us to actually be able to drive this thing in a somewhat straight line. And y'all know as well as I do that that ain't gonna happen. So, oh boy. Let's see, can I go all the way to the end of this drag strip? God, you have to like steer it back and forth very carefully. You know, in order to keep it in a straight line when you're going on full power, but... How I didn't hit anything right there is beyond me. What? Like, straight up, how I didn't hit anything right there is absolutely 100% beyond me. And go! Alright, we got one rule with this challenge. I am not allowed to lift. If I lift, it's over. Yep, I... Well, it was over long before that, I think. Uh, yeah. Still, let's see if we can get to the end. I, I really want to get this thing to the end. You have to be, like, hyperactive on the steering to do constant corrections to get it to go in a straight line. Like, I wish I had something right now to show you guys how incredibly active on the steering I was! Burst a tire. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, the wheels went flying! The wheels went flying! What? <laughs> the wheels absolutely went flying. They all did. It still runs, but... I'm not quite sure how. Holy smokes, dude. Like, I don't know how this thing still runs. I wonder if I could do a successful lap of the NASCAR track. I mean, I'm sure I could do one at, like, two miles an hour, but if we do one with any level of commitment, it probably won't work. Let's find... Oh. Well, that went well. Ah, it still drives. It's fine, right? Should be, anyway. I mean, it's not like it drives any worse than it did before. That's the that's the sad part, is that my axle is, like, super tweaked, but, like, it's... Again, it's not like it drives any worse than before. Oh, stop before you hit the wall. Ow. Just enough to, like, dent my headlight a little bit, but it's fine. What's funny is that it literally... It's compensating for the fact that it's, like, the alignment is so bad at pulling it to the left... Now that I've shoved the right front tire back towards the truck, now, all of a sudden, it wants to go in a straight line a little bit better. Oh, my God. How long will this... Oh, how long will this heap of junk keep driving? Not very long. <laughs> Not very long. Oh. Well, I would say that might be the end of this thing's, um, saga, because, like, what have we done with it at this point? We've dropped it from space, 
We've smashed it into the ground. We've smashed it into walls. We've attempted to do a lap of an NASCAR track in it, but that didn't work very well. And I would say that we have proven exactly what these trucks are best for. Getting destroyed. And with that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the videos in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And if you have any suggestions for anything else that you would like to see in BMG Drive, make sure to leave any and all of those in the comment section down below as well. I will be in the comments to hang out with you guys, chat with y'all, and read all of your thoughts and opinions as well. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.